Well, the political leader was arrested back in May. Investigators say that he funneled $125,000 from the state party into his personal bank account. Jay Cheney of uh, Manchin says that uh, his client is innocent and several high-profile politicians, including Governor Charlie Crist, may have lied. Fox 35 Steve Gelbach joining us now live with his startling accusations. Steve? Bob Greer's attorney wants to get these top Republicans under oath and on the record. He says they've been misleading the public about what they knew and when they knew it. He wants to depose in the next few weeks Governor, Governor Charlie Crist, Attorney General Bill McCollum, uh, incoming Florida Senate President, incoming Speaker of the House, and the new GOP chair. Attorney Cheney Mason spoke out today to clear up false information. It's a significantly politically motivated prosecution. He says former Republican Party Chair Jim Greer became a target in an effort to hurt his friend Governor Charlie Chris bid for U.S. Senate. We're not going to tolerate the continued misrepresentations that they did not know about victory strategies or that they did not sign a severance agreement with Mr. Greer. Documents in the case against Greer show victory strategies as a company he set up to funnel money away from Republican donations to himself. Mason also says top Republicans knew of Greer's secret $124,000 severance package. I think that all of these fellows are going to have to admit that they did have knowledge of victory strategies, that they did participate in various aspects of that knowledge and trying to conceal it. We'll find out when they're under oath in front of video cameras, by the way. Mason wants those depositions before next month's primary election. And that's why the political fall here could be huge, not only for the governor's race for Senate, but most importantly for McCollum's campaign. He is going to be running in August here. He is looking to become the next Republican nominee for governor against Rick Scott. So far, his campaign has not gotten back to me this afternoon about some of these allegations. Live in the newsroom, Steve Gelbach, Fox 35 News. Steve, thank you. By the way, Greer's attorney says that he'll also file a number of motions in the case this week. They include a, a motion to dismiss the case because of no criminal conduct. He's also asking for the attorney general's office to be disqualified from prosecuting the case.